Hi, Brian Hawkins here with HotBlogTips.com and today I'm just going to do a real fast video a how-to tutorial on adding a fave icon for your blog that will show up in other people's browsers to give you an idea what we're talking about here. Here's HotBlogTips.com showing in one of our blog posts showing up in Chrome and up here on the top left you can see that little G to the left, that little icon, some browsers may show it up in the address bar. And that G right there is the uh, default fave icon for Genesis, and that's what we use. And uh, I want to go ahead and change that to our own logo. Our logo right here is far, it's not, first of all, it's not square, it's way too big, and it wouldn't show very well as a, a smaller icon like that. So, what I'm going to do is take our gravatar which is squared already and that I, I made just for that and we save this to the hard drive which I've already done and then save that image Re remember where you know where you put it and I like to use uh, a simple little generator there's a ton of them online they're free and the one that I'm using today is fave icon, fave icon generator and I'll put a link to this below and we simply uh, go up there and grab our uh, the image we just saved. It says do not resize. I'm going to uncheck this because I wanted to go ahead and resize it for us. Create fave icon and there we go. Is that little bitty image right there is what's going to show in the uh, in the tabs. And we're going to need this little bit of code right here as well, but. Right now, we need to get this image up into the server. There are several ways to do this. You can there's uh, WordPress plugins that you can use. Um, I prefer just to go ahead and FTP it myself. So I use FileZilla, and again, there's several that you can use on there. This is the one I I prefer using. Go ahead and log into your FTP client. On the left here, I've already went to the directory to where I have that icon showing and I've logged into the hot blog tips server I'm gonna to go to public HTML and I'm gonna take that icon and just drag it in over here it's already on there so it's gonna overwrite it then I'm going to go to images drag it over get out of there so it doesn't drop into a folder now I need to navigate over to my uh, I need to navigate back over to the uh, to my theme so we'll just uh, go back to public HTML it's been a while since I've done this um, do this under content themes Genesis images and because I'm using a child theme I'm going to go ahead and put it into that as well under the images folder seems like a lot of putting it in there but I'm going to make sure it's in the right place exit out of here all right now I'm going to go back to here and I'm going to take this little bit of code I need to go to oops, dashboard. Now, because I'm using a using Genesis, what up? Let me move this over a little bit so you can see it. I'm going to. I'm using Genesis, so I'm going to use simple hooks. But what you would do if you're not using that, you would go to appearance editor and it's not going to show on here but here on the left you should see something that says uh, I believe it's going to say header or no it's going to say head but I'm going to go ahead and add it to using the Genesis using the simple hooks and document here we go I'm going to use 
I'm just going to paste that in there. Save settings. And I really doubt that it's going to show up this quick, but we'll give it a try. And let me refresh this. Of course, it's going to take forever to load for us. Uh, it's still showing the G, but it will it will turn up probably by the end of the day, and it'll start showing our little logo there. And that's all we got. And uh, appreciate you watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye now.